so far. The ship sails east from Spain over a long and tedious route, and finally, after much travel, it lands in the Indies. Now, just suppose it were possible to reach the Indies by traveling in the opposite direction, west instead of east. And just suppose the route was shorter and more direct. Impossible. Impossible. Yes, but why? I'll show you why. Only madmen would sail under your command. You would sail right off the end of the earth into a dark abyss. Boom! No more ship. But suppose, Father, that there were no end of the earth, no dark abyss. Here. Suppose this is Spain, and suppose these are the Indies. And suppose, instead of traveling east, the ship travels west around the earth, and in half the time, lands in the Indies. Possible. Possible. Bueno. Bueno. Three minutes and leave him in the shell. What? No, not what. How? Uh. Thirty-five dollars, not cent less. But it's only an island. If me no need money, you no buy for fifty dollars. Not even a hundred dollars. One answer between the two of you, please. Twenty dollars and not a cent more. Thirty dollars, not cent less. Well, I guess we'll just have to pass this deal by. Ah, medicine man say me sick. If me no sick, me no sell island. Me sick, so me go west. You're crazy to go west. The whole west is full of Indians. You'll probably get killed. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll raise my offer to $22. $26. Not cent less for island of Manhattan. Why don't we have a drink and forget the whole deal? Ah, uh, my medicine man told me no drink, no smoke. No drink and no smoke? No. What about girls? No girls. What about her? Oh, she my daughter. She no girl. That's what he thinks. Now, just let me get this straight. You're not allowed to drink? No. No smoke? And no girls? No. No girls. Well, what do you want the $26 for? You better get another doctor and have a little fun out of life. Now, this is my final offer. $24 and not a penny more. Robbery. White man rob poor Injun. So you think you're being robbed, eh? Be glad it's not 300 years later. You might have been wiped out in the stock market. Now, is it a deal or isn't it? Robbery. That's quite true, but uh, is it a deal or isn't it? Hmm? Deal. Good. Shake. You, laughing water, turn around. <laughs> She's easily amused, isn't she, huh? Hey, what you doing? I'm writing you a check for $24. What is check? Well, it's a, it's a promise to pay. Ah, me no one promise. Me want money. Well, you'd hardly expect me to carry that much cash around at one time now, would you? Say, how about taking it in merchandise? Merchandise, eh? Yes. What's that? Well, uh, this. This is, this is merchandise. Valuable jewels. From way down upon the Swanee River. Oh, she ought to be in show business. All right, I take deal. Now, wait a minute. I got to have these tags for my income tax returns. These tags are very valuable. Tags valuable? I'll say. Me take tags. You take jewels. Chief, no fool. No wonder you're the chief. With a brain like yours, the white man hasn't got a chance. How? Three minutes and leave him in the shell. Laughing water, come. We go west. Way down upon the Swanee River. White man, no fool either. Some of them made by mere chance. Let me show you. It's possible that Isaac Newton's revelation of the laws of gravity may have been more painful than he reported. 
For here's what happened when Newton went strolling in his apple orchard. Newton was somewhat less than fond of apples, but what happened that day almost made up for Adam's fiasco with the same fruit. been a painful experience but to Newton it proved that all that goes up must come down even if it's just an apple on the head but you must remember all this happened long before the invention of apple sauce <laughs> true or false the story of Newton and the apple proves that mankind has never been found wanting for a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. 